Next case tonight is CU 2018-01 Aquaturn Incorporated. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman, this is the conditional needs request that pertains to that one parcel on Bay Tree Road. Mm -hmm. um, subject property consists of about a third of an acre of the <coughs> 614 Bay Tree. It is currently zoned CN. However, under CC zoning, they're requesting conditional use approval for a pest control business. <coughs> As described there in your packet, it is a relatively small operation, um, which is fortunate because the property has a fairly small building. Um, it looks like this, about 1,200 square feet with an addition to the back. It um, currently has been small retail shop or offices for the past several years since it was rezoned, I think about 10 or 15 years ago. Um, there's a small parking area in the back, and it shares that with the adjacent property to the west, um, which is also zone CN. Um, so between the two of them, it's a parking lot across both rear yards with two driveways. Um, pest controls. Um, Required to have a conditional use approval in CC and CH, they would be a permitted use, but this property is not even eligible for CH zone. Um, staff has no concerns with that as long as it stays a small operation. Um, we talked about this in better detail at the work session. This is not the same as some of the other pest control businesses in town. They have much larger facilities. Whole fleets of vehicles. This one is fairly small by comparison. And with the recommended conditions in your packet, of which there are three, uh, that helps keep them as the small size. Um, if they were to grow beyond that, they would need to either come back through this public hearing process or perhaps buy a larger piece of property to accommodate them. The SAP's recommending approval with three conditions. Uh, first one being approval shall be granted in the name of the applicant only for a pest control business in CC. No large commercial vehicles or heavy trucks shall be allowed, and there shall be no on-site bulk storage of hazardous chemicals. <coughs> Number two, all parking shall be on approved paved surfaces in the rear yard only, and shared with the adjacent property to the west. That's the current conditions that they have. And then number three, conditional use approval shall expire after two years from the date of approval <coughs> if the applicant has not submitted a business license application by that date. To answer any questions you may have. Now we have a we have a site plan uh, showing asphalt in the back. Is is that so? I'm just curious. On your second condition, you said approved paved surfaces and rear only. I mean, is that for additional growth? What are you saying there? Well, the the concern is even though the CC zoning might allow parking in the front yard, there's not a whole lot of room. That's correct. Um, and I think since most of their traffic is to do with their um, business service trucks and service vehicles, do not think it's a good idea for those to park in the front yard. Um, this is also in the residential parking overlay district, granted it is not residential zoning, but I think the backyard would suffice. Um, there's also a large tree in the front yard. <laughs> in front of the front door, by the way. In front of this angle, yes. <laughs> but in the backyard, there's actually room to expand that parking lot. They would, of course, have to do the regular plan review and an engineer review for that. And <coughs> but I think for their purposes, they don't need quite that many parking spaces, and I think that works for them. Um, and the applicant may be here who can address details better for you, but my understanding is they will primarily use this as their office okay. and for the few service vehicles to come and go. Thank you, Matt. Any questions? Staff commissioners on this? There being none, is anyone here tonight wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward at this time. How you doing, sir? You would state your name and address for the record. <coughs> yeah, you book card out, um, old aquifer, uh, 1809 Plum Street, and then Um, like Mr. Matt said there, we just want to uh, move our office out of Remington and get to a different uh, building there. We, we are relatively small. Um, we have outgrown our current there and just like to operate out of there. Um, as far as the chemical storage, bulk wise, um, we do not have any bulk type of orders. Um, two of our three distributors are here in Georgia, so it takes a day, day and a half to send our trucks. So pretty much everything we have is in our truck. Uh, we have three service trucks. Uh, that's, that's, that's one of my questions. Carl is. I know mean, last week we talked about how many vehicles have, so basically three service trucks plus employee parking. Is that what you're looking at? Or? Uh, the employees drive the trucks home. Okay. So we just need the three trucks there um, and then the secondary. Not very much. 
much at all. Any questions for our presenter, commissioners? I have one question, Mr. Chairman. Um, so you won't be storing any chemicals other than what is on your trucks, is that correct? correct. Well, okay. At our facility now, we have a back room um, in 42 that will be off the bag. We have to have that room ventilated. Okay. Um, there is an actual home site or a little outbuilding there. If any of the gallows, okay. maybe two at most, um, but yes, ma'am, most of our stuff is kept on the truck. Okay. Okay. Mr. Chairman, and you said the trucks aren't parked there overnight. No, it's it's there. Okay. And that shed is lockable. Yes. Any other questions? Thank you, Mr. Carver. Anybody else here wishing to speak in favor of this request? <coughs> There being none, anyone wishes to speak in denial of this request. Anyone here wishes to speak in denial of this request? There being none, Commissioner, any discussion on this? There being none, I will take a motion on this request. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to recommend the City Council for approval for CU 201801 with the existing conditions. Okay, we have a motion. Do I have a I have a second. Second. I have a second. There will be discussion on this. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? There being none, all in favor, please signal or raise your right hand. Mr. Commissioner, 6 0. 